we've not gone mad, we actually got a question to an astronaut. Every night we get to eat delicious food in our tea for a tenor slot, so I thought I'd ask Alexander Gersten from the European Space Agency, who is currently orbiting the Earth. As you do. I know. <laughs> now, my question was, food must be tricky on the space station. How do you prepare your meals and do you have a best and a worst? Here's the answer. Yeah, f food is indeed tricky uh, up here. Basically, you always have to prepare it already in uh, the form that you uh, eat it. Like it's it's not like cooking at home where you mix many things and then you prepare something. Like most of it is already uh, prepared in pouches like this one. So this is just drinking water, but uh, we have uh, like tea and orange juice in these. And uh, then we also have cans uh, that we can just open and it, they actually taste quite well. We have dehydrated food where we put water in and uh, put in the food heater, uh, so uh, all sorts of different kinds. Of course, I have favorites. Uh, after a while, you really develop that and you really know what you like and what you don't like. My favorites, uh, it's kind of weird, but it's, it's granola. Uh, we really all love granola up here for breakfast and maybe it's because we don't have enough uh, that, that we're all craving that. That's so cool. There you go. <laughs> Joining us now is Jamie Gallagher from the University of Glasgow, who organised Getting My Question Into Space. As I said, very cool. How did that all come about? It was so exciting. It's part of a huge event. I, I was asking local school kids what they would really like to ask an astronaut, and Alexander was really kind enough to answer some of our questions as part of a big event that we're having on Friday. Nice. Mm. And see the people you know, Jennifer, you yeah, can get questions know, answered in space. Very, very cool. Now, food, eating food in, in space can be quite tricky. I believe we've got some, some space food here we to do. try. Yeah, right. Yeah, let's go, let's go. So, so this is, got, what have I got? We've okay. got, I've got some astronaut, I've got some strawberries, strawberries as eaten by astronauts <laughs> here. So it's freeze dried, ready to eat space food, apparently. So we'll give this a go. And you've got I've some got ice a, cream. I've got an ice cream uh, sandwich here, which let's is... Have a, it's my like favourite ice cream strawberry? Why not? Yeah. Strawberry Jamie. Oh, thank go. you. And uh, I've got a wee strawberry here. And let's, see your, let's see your dried strawberries. That's a strawberry there. Oh. Right, here's I've the ice cream. Dried, I actually just looks... A dried strawberry. Well, this one must have hit the ground coming out of space. It's a wee bit broken. <laughs> Look. Go check. Right. How's your freeze dried strawberry? It's really sweet. There we go. How's your strawberry? My mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Jamie, I've now got what it stuck in my oh. teeth. Right, I'm going for an ice cream sandwich, here we go. That's not going to be a good look. Yeah, I think yeah. having the water is a good idea. It's just like dehydrated food, so it yeah. lasts. Oh, very dry. <laughs> yeah, mm. I think that's the point. Mm. Mm. So, we'll move on from our strawberry eating. I think that's I've nice. got it stuck to my teeth, so I do oh, apologise. Um, tell us more about the event that's happening on Friday. So this is something that is not just happening in Glasgow, not just happening across Scotland, it's all across Europe. It's uh, Explorathon and it's European Researchers Night. So we celebrate all the research that's going on. Uh, and in Scotland, we've got events happening in Glasgow, Aberdeen and Edinburgh. And for Glasgow, we're taking over the Science Centre for the night. We're inviting everyone down. 